You've probably come across this style of animation on YouTube or social media. It's super cool and incredibly attention grab. The first time I saw it, I was blown away. This style is called whiteboard animation. The best part? It's really easy to create and it's totally monetizable. If you can make good quality whiteboard animations and add narration, YouTube can help you earn passive income. Sounds awesome, right? Let's dive in. First, open your browser, search for Mango Animator, and click on the first link you see. Mango Animator is an amazing tool for creating animations. With this software, you've got everything you need. For example, Mango AM helps you make smooth 2D animations. Mango WM lets you create stunning whiteboard animations. Mango CM allows for character animations. And Mango PM is great for presentations. Don't worry, I'll cover all these later. Today, we're focusing on whiteboard animations. So, head over to the product tab and click on the whiteboard animation maker. You can go for the pro version if you want more features. But for this video, I'll stick to the free version. Once you've clicked the download button, the app will start downloading. After it's done, install it on your system just like any other software. Once the installation is finished, open up the application. Now this is where the fun begins! Welcome to the Mango Whiteboard Animation Maker Dashboard! Here, you'll find tons of pre-made templates that can be used in categories like education, marketing, HR, and more. But since we're starting from scratch, let's create a brand new project. Click on Create New Empty Project. Now it's time to select the aspect ratio. If you're making a regular YouTube video, go with 16 to 9, but if you're creating a short, pick 916. I'll go with 16 9 for today. All right, this is the creator page where all the magic happens. Let's quickly explore the tools we'll be using. First up, in the background timeline. You can either add a new background or customize the one that's already there. Then there's the camera effect tool. This is where you can add cool effects like having text or objects drawn by hand. The action tool lets you add actions to the objects you bring into your project. At the top of the preview panel, You've got the home and configuration tools that let you create, edit, and publish your project. Over on the right side is the media bin, which is packed with images, shapes, text decorations, sound effects, and more. You can also upload your own media if you want. Now let's kick off our whiteboard animation journey. First, choose a story to tell. For example, I'm going to create an explainer video about the black hole. I'll grab the information from Wikipedia and summarize it using Google Bard. Once your story is ready, it's time to add the voiceover. You can either record your own voice or use an AI-generated voice. I'll be using DubDub to generate my voiceover. If you haven't used DubDub before, you'll need to create an account first. It's quick and easy. Just sign up with your Google account or email. After you're logged in, create a new project in simple mode. Click the Create button and copy your script from the doc file. Before pasting it into DubDub, make sure to choose a voice artist. Listen to the different voices and pick one that works best for your project. Once you've selected your voice, paste your script and hit Generate. It might take a minute or two, but soon your voiceover will be ready. If you want to export the audio, you'll need a premium subscription. But if you don't want to spend money, there are plenty of free AI tools available. Now that we've got our voiceover, let's upload it to Mango WM. Go to the sound tab in the Mango dashboard, click add local sound, and upload your file. After that, transcode it and your voiceover will be ready in the timeline. Let's start animating! The first line of our story is Hello Friends, so I'll insert a character to match the voiceover. In the Image tab, select Businessman and choose a figure. Since the voiceover is male, I'll go with a male character. Once the figure is added to the canvas, you can adjust its size and position. It already comes with a hand sketch effect, but you can change it if you like by clicking on the pencil icon. There are lots of effects to choose from. For this one, I'll use an effect that doesn't show the hand Next, let's add the Hello Friends text just a little after the video starts. Move the timeline cursor to where you want the text to appear. Go to the text tab, drag a text box onto the canvas, and type in your message. You can customize the text effect too. This time, I'll go with a hand drawing effect to make it more engaging. Now it's time to add a black hole. Go back to the image tab and search for a picture. If you don't find one you like, you can upload your own image by clicking Add Local Image. After the image is in place, adjust its size and position on the canvas, and set up a drawing effect. Once your first scene is complete, it's time to move on to the next one. But first, we need to clear the canvas by erasing all objects. You can do this with the erase effect. Set the object's length in the timeline and click the plus icon to add the erase effect. If you want an effect that uses a hand, those are available in the pro version, but for now, I'll stick to the free options. I'll use the page turn effect to keep things smooth. If the text doesn't erase properly, just copy the effect and paste it into the text layer. For the second scene, I'll add another black hole image. This time, you can find the image in the recent tab, where all your previously used images are safe. After adding the image, I'll insert the text, adjust the font, size, and color, and customize the effect. Don't forget to add an erase effect at the end of the scene so it transitions smoothly. Keep repeating this process for each scene to build a full whiteboard animation. Take your time with the editing to make sure everything looks 
looks great. Once you're happy with the result, click the publish button to export the video. In the free version, the maximum resolution is 576p. But that's enough to get started. You can export it as an MP4 file or even as a GIF. When the video is ready, go ahead and watch your finished product. Black Holes, a summary. A black hole is a region of spacetime where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. This is due to the extreme curvature of spacetime caused by a massive object. Black holes are predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. The boundary of a black hole is called In just a few simple steps you've created a cool whiteboard animation video. With practice you'll be able to use this method to kickstart your YouTube journey. Before I wrap up I'd love to hear how your whiteboard animation turned out. Share your experience in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy creating!